Greetings ghosts and ghouls, it is I, Something Spooky. I'm here to present to my viewers a little narrated montage of all the places I've been over the whole one month road trip I took. It was quite the ride, and I had tons of fun doing this. Before I begin, I want to thank a few people. First off, my friend HKB from Castle Studios. I'm a voice actor in Castle Studios, and HKB originally gave me the idea for this project. So thanks to him for this wonderful idea, and check out Castle Studios on YouTube. Next up is my parents, for spending a ridiculous amount of money on this trip. It was long, but we saw a lot of cool stuff, and I am forever grateful for the love and care they've given me as I've grown up. And finally, I wish to thank you, viewer. I appreciate your time in watching this video, so without further ado, let's get rolling. Our trip began when my Odyssey the Mind team got into Worlds this year in Iowa. For reference, I live in the funny state known as Awesome, so we weren't going to fly, so we had to go drive. We spent three days in Iowa State University, and we came in 13th in our division, which is really good. After all the pin trading and eating tons of college food, we packed our bags and made our way to South Dakota. We only stayed for about, like, two days, and it rained all throughout both. But in those two days, I saw the mammoth bone bit, which is pretty self-explanatory. A bunch of bones in a pit. Apparently, the mammoths, over years of time, just fell into the sinkhole pit where they were excavating? I know, it's crazy, right? From there, we took a stop at Mount Rushmore, a historic site indeed. My father and I hiked the presidential trail along the base of the mountain. It was a lot of fun. As we traveled from South Dakota to our next destination, Montana, we stopped by in Wyoming to visit, or look at from a distance because we weren't paying $35 for parking, at Devil's Tower. It was an interesting stop, but more importantly and than the tower, there was Sarsaparilla. Rocco, Sioux whatever. City Sarsaparilla. Hell yeah. After some time, we arrived at our first location on what is known as the Montana Dinosaur Trail. The Dinosaur Trail is a string of museums across the state, and the first one on our list was Clark County Museum. The museum itself was very neat, and Dinosaur Array was decent. Next we traveled to two more museums, one of which was not on the Dinosaur Trail. This one was the Creations Museum. It tried to explain prehistoric events in biblical context, which was an interesting take. However, I wasn't there for the Bible verse, just the cool fossils and skeletons. Up next, after a little museum next door, which was on the trail, we stopped at Makosha State Park. Let me pause to tell you how drop-dead beautiful the scenery was here. Not to mention, we took a little hike to see a hadrosaur fossil still in the wild. I actually recorded a play-by-play -play of the events, so here they are. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. This is Something Spooky. Welcome to Makashika State Park. This is one of our stops on our trip here, and we're gonna go on a little adventure to see a hadrosaur footprint, apparently. So that'll be something interesting. Yeah, let's get rolling. So apparently this was the Hell Creek Formation, uh, basically when the Earth was a bunch of, uh, well, colliding plates, there was the Hell Creek Formation. And these are where dinosaurs used to be in this area. And you actually see in the TK lines, I think about, it's hard to see on this, but, that black strip of line, that's dinosaur area right there. So it's pretty cool. To think this was once a creek. Still is a creek. It's Actually, dry when, right you now. know what this all was? Was big one big ocean. It was. Yeah. At one point it was an ocean, Fish then swim, it became yeah. a swamp. To think this is all a swamp at one point too. Swamp. Wow. Look at this ground too, this dirt. It just dribbles away, man. This stuff's crazy. Just stumbled across some of these tracks here from where we came. All right. Climbed up a shit ton. Oh, I got pissed, dude. <laughs> um, there's a bench over there. I think you can see it. But look at this. Look how far we've come. I think we were parked somewhere over there. 
That's crazy. He's behind that rock. Oh my God, he's over at the bench. Quint's at the bench. What a man lad. All right, I'm gonna head back down. All right, guys, I was just on my way back. I took a leak on the ground. Look at it. Over there, I see it. There it is with the mark by the pink flags. That is the hadrosaur. Oh, we found it right there, the pink flags. I'm gonna see if I can get a closer look at it. I think uh, I'm gonna get up close with it and then I'm gonna report back. There she is, guys, the hadrosaur fossil out in the wild. Look at her, she's beautiful. All right, I'm gonna head back down. This is a crazy trip. Look at that cliff face. That is so cool. It's got like a little table there. <laughs> well, on our way back. Huh? Look at that. Crazy stuff. All right. So Jordan, here they are. After the state park, we moved on to our next location, which included a recreation of a mummified remains from a Brachycephalosaurus. Try saying that five times fast. Right next door, another museum had an Albertosaurus and the Brachycephalosaurus named Elvis, all of which were incredible. From there, we made our way to Fort Peck, only to find that the museum was closed. So we decided to spend the night and cook some burgers over a fire in a camp. We also cooked some monster s'mores. That beautiful marshmallow. That thing's huge! Yeah. <laughs> you lost some! It's dripping, dude. This marshmallow is dripping. Yo, we got there. God damn! <laughs> oh my god, you're covered in it! <laughs> Isn't this a beautiful? After that, I got into my hammock and recorded a piece. Okay, greetings guys, it's me Spooky. Um, I'm in my hammock right now, we're in Fort Peck, uh, Montana, believe it or not. And uh, I'm in my little hammock and we're ready to go to bed. Yep, very uh, cozy, it's really cold, how cold it balls out right now. But, I'm having a good time. Got my glasses on, I'm about to take them off and go to bed. So, wishing you all the best of times. Tomorrow we're going to the Discovery or Interpretive Center, I think it's called, up in um, up, up in Fort Peck. So we're like we're literally right next door to it. We just was closed today, so we can we can go in. Um, we're gonna stay a day here on this campsite. It's beautiful outside. I'll show you guys some pictures tomorrow. But in the meantime, have a good night, guys, and I'll come back to you when it's daytime. Yeah. Peace. The next day we went back to the Fort Peck Interpretive Center Museum, and it was open. This museum was much larger and more astonishing than the last past few. Lots of interesting fossils to look at. We spent the rest of the day at camp and I decided to go on a walk. Next day we packed up and made our way to the next museum where we had a very interesting find. Have you ever heard of the Wankel T-Rex? Well, if you haven't, you have now. This T-Rex is in the Smithsonian currently and is also known as a T-Rex found with intact red blood cells in the bone marrow. Why am I telling you this? Because I met the woman who found the Wankel T-Rex. Meet Mrs. Wankel. She has a beautiful museum and was even kind enough to let me take a picture with her. Moving on, we went on to the e Clack Museum, which was moved from its original location we had to do some hunting to find it, and another museum that boasted its hands-on approach to learning. From there, we moved on to a quick stop to another museum, this one boasting the Myasaura, and then on to the Two Medicine Point Museum, home of the Seismosaurus. And let me tell you, this thing was big. We had our fun there. I even got a little friend to remind me of it. Now with Montana coming to a close, we head to our last stop, Bozeman Museum of the Rockies. This museum was the peak dinosaur museum. There was a lot to see, ranging from Big Al the Allosaurus and tons of Triceratops. I even got myself a raptor claw too. However, with the museum done and the dinosaur trail complete, we had to kiss Montana goodbye. Wyoming was interesting, not because we were staying in Yellowstone National Park, because our campsite was covered in snow. It was June 8th when that photo was taken, and there was still snow on the ground. Suffice it to say, it was cold. Though it was snowing, that didn't ruin our fun. We had bear sightings, bison sightings, we even went up to what basically looked like no man's land. The sights were beautiful. 
We built a snowman named Timmy. We saw ravens too, like a lot of ravens. We saw grizzly bears and black bears and even some black bear cubs. We rested up on the next day and then we left, but not before seeing Old Faithful. As nice as Wyoming was, and how lucky we were to make it out of Yellowstone a day before the roads washed out, we were getting tired. We were glad we had finally made the trek home. We stopped in Memphis, Tennessee to, well, see the Bass Pro Shop Pyramid, of course. And honestly, that was truly the nicest thing in that city, and not even joking. After our escapade, we drove down to Georgia for our final stop, Stone Mountain. Stone Mountain was like the Georgia Disneyland. It was a nice campground with some interesting attractions. However, we weren't there for Stone Mountain. We were there for The Walking Dead. You see, we traveled an hour away to Sonoy, the town where the hit AMC TV show The Walking Dead was filmed. It was a nice tour. I got some nice merch and admired the little town. As fun as it was, it was time to come to a close. This trip was truly an adventure. It's so interesting to see the world and experience new and exciting things. I urge you to go on trips like this with family or friends. This country is so big and beautiful and there's so much to see. But anyways, I think that's all for this time. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you ghosts and ghouls in the next one. Happy haunting.